I'm Jan. Welcome to Yoga with Jan for your Spring Fitness Fest 2024. Um, I want to do a couple things today. It's all going to be fun, hopefully, for you guys. But before we do anything, I just want to share that um, some things about yoga. Because not everybody maybe knows what yoga is or what it isn't. or We all have ideas about yoga. But really, yoga, all it is, is breathing and moving. So the movement follows the breath. So I'm gonna demonstrate this for you and then literally you can create your own yoga with your own movement. So the first thing to do is just to make sure you're standing nice and tall. So I'm gonna to turn to the side and I want you to see that I'm not slumping over and I'm not like this, I'm, I'm standing nice and tall like I'm a mountain. If you've heard the term mountain pose, it's cause you're building your feet and your body from the, your, the ground up. So I'm just standing nice and tall, but I'm relaxed. My knees are bent, I'm kind of relaxed. So that's the first kind of thing to think about when you're just standing and doing a yoga pose or any kind of pose that you wanna try is feeling the ground with your feet and standing up nice and tall, but relaxed. So, and now what we're gonna do is once we're standing or we're, we're in a nice, tall, relaxed position, we're just gonna take a nice deep breath. So I'm gonna inhale through my nose, fill my belly with air, and then I'm gonna slowly exhale through my mouth or my nose. I'm gonna do that a couple more times, inhaling through my nose, filling my belly, and then slowly exhaling through my nose. And immediately what I see is I, I slow down. Actually, my energy becomes nice and mellow when I do this. Take no nice, slow, deep inhales and slow exhales. So that's your yogic breath. And you can speed it up a little or slow it down a little as you might want to with your movement. So if you're wanting to do a movement that's a little faster, which I'm gonna demonstrate in a minute, you can speed your breath up, okay? But the key is breathe and then move. So I'm gonna inhale and then I'm gonna move. And then I'm gonna exhale, I'm gonna inhale and I'm gonna move and I'm gonna exhale and come back. So that's the idea with yoga, breathing and moving. Okay, so what I've got for you guys today is four different, they're called asanas or poses that I kind of just made up or some of them come from more traditional yoga and they're gonna do different things. When you breathe a certain way and you move a certain way, it creates certain energy in your body. So this first one we're gonna call the conductor breath. This is an energizing activity and breath. So if you're feeling kind of slumpy or sluggish, this is a great thing to do to just get your energy going and make you feel kind of like peppy and ready for whatever is coming your way. So I'll show it to you from the front and then I'll turn to the side so that you can see both angles. So hopefully you understand that it's pretty easy. The first thing is we're gonna come back to that nice kind of stance where your feet are about hip distance apart and they're straight ahead and your knees are a little bent. So my knees are like just a little bent here. So I have a little bounce. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just bend those knees, have nice long spine. So I'm standing up nice and straight, but my knees are bent. And I'm gonna start by, we'll start by just doing the breath. You take sips of an inhale. So normally when we breathe, we're gonna go, well, this one is like, you're gonna just, like you're filling a glass of water. You wanna fill the glass a little bit on the first sip of air, a little bit more on the second sip of air, and a little bit more on the third sip. So by the time, time you're on the third sip of air, you're at the, you can't take in any more air. So let me demonstrate what that's like. It's a, okay, so that's the inhale, three sips. And then the exhale, you just go, and you let the breath completely go. So three sips of air. So that's the breath. So the arms, you're gonna start with your arms in front on the first sip of air. They're gonna be right in front of you like a mummy. So inhale one sip, inhale the second sip, out to the side, inhale the third sip, up and then exhale and hinge at your hip. So from the side, it's inhale, inhale, 
crescent moon, right, it's curved. So you have this nice curve to work. You can also think of a banana shape, right? That's what we're going to make with our body right now. So we're going to start with, if you can, put your feet together. If that's okay for balance for you, you can have your feet apart. So if you have your feet together, you're going to inhale some breath and bring your hands up and out and overhead. And when they're overhead, you can exhale. I, I notice my hands are clasped. You can clasp your hands together. You can put your palms together, whatever works. You can even grab one of your wrists. In this case, you'll see why in a minute, I'm gonna grab my left wrist. I'm gonna inhale. I'm gonna send my left hip out and I'm gonna just bring my arms over to the right side of the body. So I'm trying to make that half moon shape with my body. See how I'm curving in here? And I'm reaching over my head with my arms and I'm breathing here. Just breathing, inhaling and exhaling. And what's happening is I'm stretching this whole side body. And then I'm gonna inhale, my hands are gonna come up. I'm gonna exhale and my hands are gonna release. I'm gonna inhale and the hands are gonna come up again. And this time I'm gonna go to the other side, exhale. I'm gonna inhale and press my right hips out and bring my arms over to the left side of my body. So now I'm getting a nice side stretch here. And then I'm exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Come up. Now, inhale, step your feet apart, wide apart, hands apart in a star. So now you're like a star shape. So this is all about celestial too. You're gonna inhale and you're gonna try to bend your left leg and reach over <laughs> and you can always grab something beside you where you can just stretch out. And I'm gonna exhale, come back, hands come down. Inhale, arms come up to a star. Exhale, bending the knees, coming over with the weight on the right leg, stretching over. This is probably a lot easier for little bodies than big bodies. Exhale, come down. Inhale, come back up to your neutral stance. And if you want to go through that posture sequence again, you can do that over again. So we started with the stretching, with the breathing on both sides, and then we came to a star. And then you inhale and you put your weight on your left leg and you stretch open your arms and lift your right leg. Exhale, come down. Inhale, arms out to a star. Exhale, reach over, try to balance on the right foot. Exhale, come down come back to neutral. All right, the last pose of the day. So that was a little bit of a balance challenge and a stretching activity. This last one is a kind of a positive affirmation and a strengthening pose. So some of you that have done any yoga, either in class or have seen yoga, this pose is gonna look familiar. It's sometimes called warrior two pose, okay? We're gonna call it the archer pose for our purposes. I'll get, I'll show it from the side and from the front. So what you want to do is you want to spread your feet apart nice and wide, kind of like the star pose. And you, whenever you do these wider stances, you want to make sure you're comfortable. So if it's too wide, you're like, whoa, and you're not balanced, bring your feet further together. And if your feet are too close and you feel kind of like you can't move very well, then maybe try stepping out just a little bit, okay? So what I'm going to do here, it doesn't matter which side you do first, okay? But in, for all purposes, I'm gonna turn, so right now my feet are straight ahead. They're like on railroad tracks. I'm gonna take my left foot, I'm gonna spin it, and I'm gonna turn my left toes facing this direction, and my right toes, I don't know if you can see it, are facing straight ahead. And if you don't get this, it doesn't matter. You can have both feet straight ahead and still do this. It's a little harder. But I'm gonna try it by bringing my left toes facing this wall, my right toes facing forward, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna inhale, my arms come out to the side, I'm gonna exhale and bend this left knee, the one where the toes are facing towards the wall. So now this is in like in a warrior stance. It's a nice strong pose. You should feel like you're really like strong here. My core is nice and straight. My head is looking, you can look straight ahead or you can turn towards the left hand here, so you're facing the left hand. And 
And what you want to do here is you want to think something like something about being strong, like I am strong or I can do this. Maybe there's something today that's a little challenging for you. So I want you to think about something that's going to make you feel like you totally got this today, okay? And you're going to breathe, inhale, and then exhale. And you're going to think of that mantra, meaning that, that thing you want to do. How about, I got this, and you're going to think it, I got this. And you can exhale and say, I got this. I got this. Okay? So then, your hands come down. Breathe as normal. Just start breathing like you usually do. You're going to straighten the left leg. Turn the toes back towards the center. So now your feet are on railroad tracks again. Go ahead and turn the right toes out. Inhale, hands come out to the side. Exhale, bend that knee now, the right knee. You can look over the right hand or look straight ahead. And again, think of another positive affirmation. It could be the same one. And you're going to inhale. Think about that positive affirmation and say it. I got this. Inhale. Exhale. I got this. Go ahead and drop the hands down. Breathe as normal. Straighten the leg. Turn the toes back in and then jump back with your feet together. <laughs> okay, so these were four yoga postures that we practiced today. I invite you guys to do your own. Like I said, it's breathing and moving. It can be any movement that you want. Just breathe and then follow with movement, but lead with breath, meaning you breathe first, you move second. You breathe and you move, and then you're doing yoga. So I hope you enjoy this Fitness Fest yoga session, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the Fitness Fest activities for this season.